sneaky little spec tonight. Do another one for you. Full Linux, of course. Right, another puppy paste distro. This time it's Simplicity Linux Desktop 11.1. .1. Now, I've not visited Simplicity Linux Desktop or Simplicity, whatever you want to call it. No, sorry, they can't call it Simplicity because there's a company out there. Long story, but we won't go into it. So we'll call it Simplicity Linux Desktop. Okay, fine. Based on Puppy, which is based on Quirky, it's a fork of Puppy, and I'll show you that a bit later maybe, and we'll see how we go. And I've installed it to drive, all works hunky-dory. Doesn't seem to be any problems at the moment, although it did drop my sound settings when I rebooted, but hey, no big deal anyway. Now, Simplicity is basically made for, if you're coming over from Windows, it's a bit, a bit easier for you. So you have these desktop icons, as you can see up the top here, look, lovely, super loads of them, I'm going to go through them. You've got the start bar down here, or the menu, whatever you want to call it. A bit of XFCE going down there, don't you think so? I do. Get settings, set up file systems, etc. All loads down there too. So we're going to start up here. Yeah, why don't we? You've got your home folder, which will be puppy. So I'll open that for you. As you can see, XFCE. Nice. I like it. And you can open your files up and do stuff from there. Nice. Okay. If I put my pointer up the top there, normally I should be able to get a little drop down bar. There it is. Okay. So again, look, there it is. That doesn't work every time, but hey, I don't know why not. But hey, we won't go into that, but there is one there. You can lock your screen if you really want to. I might do that a bit later, actually. There's Osmo for all your calendar stuff, and so we've got meetings, and when you go down the pub, and then when you go down the club, and then back to the pub, then to the other pub, and then go home, you know, that sort of thing. There's a trash bar. Nice little trash bin there. Calc. What is calc? And there is that open office calc. Or is that G numeric? Let's have a look. Wait and see. Blimey. It is open office. Blimey. I won't go no farther than that because you know what it looks like. So that's fine. You get M player for playing M player stuff, which is like DVDs and stuff like that. Networking. Now you do have to set up the networking manually. You can't do it automatically like the newer pups. I'm not sure if that's just because it's based on quirky and stuff like that. But hey, I'll delve into that another time. Now impress would be nice. That's nice on here because it's open office. It would be because it's got calc so that's cool you've got a groove shark now if you like listen to free music let's see if it comes up yet yeah. obviously one lovely i like it this is the old test machine by the way not the new one i just want to do it on the old one because i like it now here you can listen to free music from whatever genre you want to basically so you've got classical rock indie rap pop and electronica so if i click on say we'll just click on classical for instance now we wait a little while, and in theory, we should get some stuff going on. Here we go. So we've got a bit of Vivaldi, Four Seasons, and something I can't pronounce. Somebody pronounce that for me. A lot of stuff. It's like a radio for radio streaming. Really nice, actually. It works, does the job. So, okay, that's all right. So I'll get rid of it. Yes, we do want to come out of it. Okay. As you can see, this old test machine is not coping too well. It does like a lot of stuff here for some reason. But that's using, because it's using Wine to run some other programs. Wine doesn't always work too well in Puppy. Hey, I'm just a messenger. Don't shoot me. You can get these drives from down there. Open Office Writer is there. Now, Gimpy. Bit of a problem with that. The shortcut doesn't actually work for me. Might be just me, but I don't think so. I'll double click it for you. There we go. That's all, yeah, not so like that one, is it really? But I will mail him and tell him more saying on that anyway. Firefox is your web browser. So I'll double click on the web browser for Firefox. It loads up quite nice, really nice and quick. Now apparently he's altered this somewhere on the line. I was trying to find out where. So if you can let me know, I can actually update everything and say well, what he's done basically. But as far as I'm aware, there's nothing that he's done too much too. And of course also you get the Firefox page to start with. Okay, we'll go to the Bebacur, so make sure that all works. Yes, that looks okay. Go to the iPlayer. Looks like it's going to work, isn't it? Well, I think it will do with 3.6 anyway. So I won't do anything else there. Otherwise, we'll be breaking the law. I don't want to do that, do I? Come out of the Fox, don't need to go in there anymore. Or do I? No, I want to quit. I don't really need to do that, do I? Okay, now for Music Store, for any of you wondering, this is just a shortcut for Firefox goes to 7 Digital. Now 7 Digital actually feeds Ubuntu and I've been using 7 Digital myself for years and years and years because it's DRM free and you get a choice of what formats, well not many formats but you know if you wanted WM, it's all MP3 now most of it so don't worry about taking away it too much really. So yeah that's okay. Next, Aqualung, a basic music player. 
And I've done this before for quite a few pups. And it's in quite a few pups. I wasn't sure if he was going to go over to beef like a lot of them. I'll double click that again because it doesn't seem to be working. Ah, here we are. That clung is in there. Nice. All in there. Works. It's a player. It's not a ripper, by the way. You cannot rip stuff with this. I know, I know, I know. Okay. So, okay, get rid of that again. Nice. Is it in a tray? No. Good. Didn't want it in a tray anyway. You get a control panel. I'll double click again. That's pure XFCE, really, isn't it? Which is nice. I like XFCE. XFCE. But I wish you put 4.8 in. It would have been nice. I would be not dribbling. You know what I'm saying? Of course you do. Skype is standard. Dropbox is standard. I've downloaded the application anyway because you have to download it as soon as you get the application on the machine. And I've downloaded the stuff and it all works hunky dory. I don't want to show you because I've got too much stuff on it basically. And you get terminal, you get transmission, and you also get your disk drive. And that's roughly about it. From the desktop. Now, under the menu, you get the basic FCC. I'm having trouble with that tonight. XFCE settings, usual stuff. Set up its usual puppy stuff. So there's your installer down there, install to USB is there, XL Video Wizard is there, and other stuff so if you want to do stuff. Games, one, mine, oh dear. Never mind, graphics, give me there, so that's fine. We'll give you open from here, shall we give it a go? Yeah, go on in. Can't hurt, can it really? So I'm going to count, and as you see we've lost our desktop clock there as well, all of a sudden, it's just gone, it doesn't want to come out to play, CPU's not doing much either, mm, okay, never mind, we'll carry on, okay, so we go to internet, Dropbox is there, you know that, and Firefox is there, some other stuff, and some other wine stuff, he does put an awful lot of wine stuff in here, I don't know why, don't shoot me though, I'm just telling you how it is. Aqualung's okay though, I don't mind Aqualung for playing, but I would prefer a different player. I mean, everybody's going to dead beef at the moment. I'm not too fond of that one either, personally, but hey, that's just me. Network, you still get Dropbox and other stuff. Donido is there also, okay. Under Office, you get some open office stuff there, as I've already said before, and you also get Bcrypt and a PDF viewer. And other, you get a wine colour setter. And then the system, you get the usual system stuff and HTOP for testing your system and see what's, what's going on then and whatever, you know. And the utility, on the other hand, we get quite a lot. And here's the all, all the wine stuff. <sighs> okay. I'm not going to say anything about that. Too much wine in it for me. You may like it. I just don't. Oh, Simplistic 11.1. It ain't too bad, I just don't like the wine stuff. But on the whole, if you're coming over from Windows and you want something really familiar to look at, and it runs on really old machines as well, it ain't a bad distro. And you can't really go wrong. A couple of little niggles like the gimpy thing over here, and all this other thing over here. When you do sound, you can't go like that. It just doesn't get any bigger. Look. See what I mean? It just doesn't do what I want it to do. Which is not what I wanted to do, basically. And the network thing could have been done automatic also. But apart from that, it's very usable, easy to install, takes about six minutes to install completely and you're off and away. So if you want to give it a go, go to his site, download it, or Google it, whatever you want to do. Sneaky Linux, going out. I'll see you later, bye bye.